East League next uh, on Saturday in the league. Um, but let's look back at Sunday's defeat in the FA Trophy. We must. What, what were your thoughts on, on that game? Um, I mean, disappointment would, would be an understatement. It was, it was quite embarrassing on the day, to be honest. And we was, we was very saddened by the way we played um, for a number of reasons. And, and one of them in particular was on the back of four very good performances for, def for different reasons. We was on a good run of four wins back to back. Um, and it was one of them, didn't see a performance like that coming. Nearly clawed something out of the game, which even then, you know, you might say that we wouldn't have deserved it. But at 2-2, two -two, if we'd have seen the game out, we could have got ourselves to the replay and, and, and discussed the rights and wrongs of the game and, and tried to put it right in the replay. But obviously, a, a, a strange decision by Dowie to cause the penalty and, and, and we got beat. So... I was embarrassed on the day, I'm not going to lie. Um, we was a million miles away from where we had been and what we're capable of. So, you know, we've had some discussions this week. We've had some training sessions that hopefully will get us back on track because it's important that we don't dwell on that performance for too long and we get back to what we're capable of doing and, and hopefully that's what we do on Saturday at home to Eastleigh. Yeah, of course you mentioned a little bit about um, coming back in that game. Uh, would you say that was down to uh, the substitutions you made, of course, bringing on Dan Sparks and Mason Bloomfield? Yeah, you can say that. I mean, Sparks, he played his part with the goal. Um, I think when you're in a group of players, any group of players, you, you get familiar with what, with what attributes each other have. And I think they know when Sparks gets the ball, he's looking to get his crosses in, get the balls in the box. And I think he's been a decent impact player at the minute. Obviously, he would like to work his way into the team, but at the minute he's coming on and having an impact. And Mason is a, is a nice foil um, when we choose to replace Cheeky with him. He's a big, powerful boy. Needs to add some, a bit of a goal threat and, and get some goals to back up his play. But he's a big lad and he's still learning. He's only young, but he's been coming on and making an impact. I thought he was terrific when he came on against Barrow. Um, so, yeah, you'd probably say that the subs played an impact and nearly got us a draw that would maybe we wouldn't have deserved, but obviously we'd have taken it. Yeah, and uh, despite the defeat on Sunday, as you mentioned, it's been really well in the league. Of course, uh, it's been a while since winning away and, of course, in four games, won two of them away, uh, three clean sheets as well. That was something at the start of the season wasn't really happening. And now, um, that, that must be an advantage going into this game on Saturday. It is an advantage, but it also adds to the frustration as to how we performed against Hereford. But, you know, I've said my bit now. You know, we was extremely frustrated with the, with the showing that we put out um, for everyone connected to the club. But... Do we choose to dwell on one game or do we look at the four positive games before that? Because in all four of them games, we had many different qualities. We had some fighting spirit from being 2-0 down against Geisley. We had to play against a difficult, awkward, powerful team in Dover. And then Chester, we overcome a, a slow start in the first half and then four could have easily been six or seven on the day. And then a terrific away performance at Barrow, which is always tough because of the distance involved. So, you know, we're gonna we, we're gonna build on them positives. Hopefully, come back home, and you know we we've been very good at home this year. It looks like we've turned the corner slightly with our away performance, and we will be definitely going for the win. There's no doubt about that. That's how we like to play. That's how John likes to play. We're going to attack. And hopefully we can put Hereford to bed very quickly and get three points on Saturday. Yeah, talking about home, uh, it's been a while since uh, the Daggers actually played at home, so it must, must feel good to actually be back and play <coughs> at the Triple Construction Stadium. It's just the way that the fixtures have worked out with the FA Trophy draw as well being a, an, an away game. Um, but yeah, it's always nice to play at home. You, you, you've got your fans behind you, you've got your... And that's not saying we don't have the away fans behind us, of course, but when you're at home you got the majority of the support and there's always a nice buzz about our home stadium 
and the players enjoy playing there. So thankfully we've turned the corner with our away performances and our results, but certainly lads always go into home games confident that they're going to play well and, and score goals. Yeah, and we'll end off uh, with what's your thoughts ahead of the game, of course, against Eastleigh. Um, at the start of the season, it was a two-all draw away there. What, what, what's your thoughts this time round? Yeah, I mean, <coughs> I felt it was, <coughs> excuse me, points dropped up at their place. It was comfortable um, going into half time and then a crazy two or three minutes see us behind. Um, and we got something out of the game, but I still felt, I remember my feelings on the day that it was two points dropped. I mean, look, they've got decent players in their ranks. Um, they've had a little shuffle of the pack with their staff. Um, so they may come with a slightly different style of play. We don't know, but we have to be ready for it. But I'm sure, as you know, Yus, we've said many, many times, every game is a tough game. I can only tell you how difficult after the game, but certainly how we're approaching the game, it'll be a very tough game. Um, but if we have our players perform and work hard to the levels that we know we're capable of, then I go into every game confident that we're going to win the game. Okay.